Hi everyone, this is Brian with Azzy's Design Works. Today I have a transfer case on the bench. We use this for demonstration purposes, uh, well, because it's only half. And we want to talk a little bit about adjusting our transfer case linkages, which you can see here. And uh, a little bit about uh, a maintenance item that I don't think a lot of people think of whenever they are changing the transfer case fluid. Yes, you do have to change your transfer case fluid. <laughs> um, so inside of here, whenever this moves, normally we hear you hear that clicking? So what's happening is underneath the Jeep, or underneath the transfer case, there is this plug. And I've already mostly removed that. So we have, we have an O-ring surface down here. It's hollow at seven eighths. We're going to pull this out and we have a spring and we have a plunger. Now this plunger or detent is what causes that clicking inside here. So if we move this, if you're underneath your Jeep, you're about to put your transfer case on or you have someone sitting in the Jeep with their foot firmly on the, on the brake and they're moving this back and forth to try to figure out where the issue is and you're watching it. If you don't hear that moving and clicking and this is moving way too fluid, then this could be one of your problems. And it could pose a problem when you go to adjust uh, a transfer case uh, linkage replacement. So we pull this, we let it drain, we get up there with, uh, I like to use a, just the end of a, a shop cloth, kind of get in there, twist it around, pull it out, see what comes out, put all our stuff back in, and then refill with ATF and move ahead. Now, if you're wondering what that does inside uh, and how this, how this affects adjustment, inside of here we have this plate. The shaft that's on is called the selector shaft. And this detent rides in these grooves down here. So that clicking noise was this going up and down and into each one. If this is wedged down because of grease and dirt down in this drain here, it won't stop in the proper place. Now you may get it close just by feel and by the numbers up there, as long as this was adjusted right in the first place. But really, if you don't feel those stops, then uh, this really should be serviced before you have it partially adjusted and it wears out the, there's urethane pads on your shift fork that rides in here and moves the, moves the gears back and forth. Uh, when those are worn out, now this takes a little bit further, so you would have to go and shift past and then back to get this to all line up correct. And that's really only in very worn out transfer cases we see that, but if this is um, misadjusted for so long, it can lead to that issue uh, in the future. So we get our detent done, we get all that done, and we've watched Rafi's video, which you can find the link for right here. Also on our website, uh, case is mentioned, Rafi did a great installation video on a Cherokee for this. The same thing applies on a Comanche if you're installing on that. Um, We'll get to, you get to the adjustment process. So once you have it installed, so you have this bolted on your transfer case, you have this bolted up into the Jeep, and we're gonna go ahead and like, all right, we need to have this. So I've got the Jeep set in too high. I've got the transfer case set in too high. You could also do the same thing where you pull this over into four low, and you have this one down here in four low. Um, the same adjustment applies, just depends on you know, where your fingers can reach into. So I have this and I have it in the gear I want. I have this in the gear I want. I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to rotate this until my rod end is positioned to perfectly go in that center hole. The center hole is what we wanna use for most 231 installs. 
We recommend the upper hole for whenever you use one of our upper linkage plates. You get these with our 242 kit, so you'll get a second one of these. They chain together, so they stack. And whenever you drop this side of the lever, we want to bring this side of the lever up, so we're going to use that top hole. Bottom hole can be used for custom installations, but for most of what we need, we're going to go with that center hole right there on the lower linkage plate. And once you have that in, we supply these with a jam nut on the back. And what that is there for is so whenever you're up here trying to figure out, you know, move through, you can use a finger instead of having to use a wrench on this lock nut to get that in place. And that is good enough to be able to get it inside the Jeep, move your gear shift back and forth, make sure your gears are selecting in the right place. And then you can go on, once your adjustments are done, you can tighten down your jam nuts. Make sure these are good tight, because if not, vibration can make these come apart and you'd have to buy a new uh, center rod section. And then we put our lock nut on the back of that. So I hope that has answered questions on the the setup and adjustment of the transfer case linkages for the 231 and 242 on the XJ and Comanche. One other thing to note before we go, um, if you have no light inside of your gauge cluster for when you put the vehicle in four wheel drive, and it was originally a four wheel drive vehicle, um, there will be, there's a light in the top right hand corner of your gauge, and there's a switch that goes into this hole right here. And that switch right there, they're often bad after, well, a lot of these Jeeps are pushing 30 years. Um, and that switch goes bad. It's not super expensive, but at the same time, it's not 100% necessary um, to know it's there. Now, the time it could come in uh, handy is if your transfer case linkage, your factory one were to strip out and your rod just moving in and out, and this isn't, you know, the plate down here isn't moving anymore, you'll know it's still in four high. Uh, past that, you're not gonna be able to tell. And that also has a gear spot on here inside on our wheel. So yeah, again, I'm Brian. This is Azzy's Design Works. Check out all our stuff at azzy'sdesignworks.com. Also look for us and your favorite retailers like Walmart, Amazon, and eBay. Have a great day. Keep on wheeling. See you later.